What is going on, Pokemon friends and Pokemon fans? Welcome back to Open TCGs, and today, finally, I mean, finally, I get to open up these two blister packs. And let me tell you a little bit of a story about this whole thing. Ever since this set was released, I mean, the day of release, I've had this in my possession. That is the Garboder Triple Pack Blister Packs. Okay? And no problem. I was going to do them right away as soon as the uh, set was actually released. And I was super excited at the time because I was looking for this other one here. And they did not have it at the store at the time. I thought it was just a one store thing. And that was the end of that. Well, I was very, very, very wrong. Because I literally had to drive almost for an hour in every one of my local Targets, Walmarts, any big stores that would carry something like this. And I just could not find this Regigigas one. It was non-existent. I kept on asking these big stores, I kept on asking local game stores, nobody knew what was going on with the Regigigas. <laughs> so, um, I held this one here because I just wasn't going to open one blister pack. I usually don't do that. I usually do both from each set. Now, that could have just been my bad luck. Um, probably uh, that was pretty much the case, honestly. But um, I was like, you know what? I'm going to wait because eventually somebody will have it and I will pick it up. So that's what happened. I went to one of my targets that was not too far away from me. And they actually had one left. I don't know if they had just very low quantities or people just like took him home like as soon as they saw him. I don't know what the deal is. But anyway, I went through a hassle to get this for you guys and it was absolutely worth it because you guys are absolutely worth it. And I will do anything possible to make videos and keep you all happy. So I just wanted to throw that out there and kind of give you guys a little update of what is going on and why is it that we hadn't done this in the past. Such a pain. But anyway, we're happy, we're good. Let's open up some Forbidden Light Blister Packs. Okay, so while I'm opening these up and I'll show you the contents, I wanna let you know that the code card winners are gonna be down in the description box below. If you happen to see your name down there, please get a hold of me on my social media links. All the links are gonna be down there for Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Amino Pokemon, or if it's easier to send me a message on YouTube, please do so as always. Today's question of the day is, did you have a hard time pulling any of these um, or picking any of these up like I did? Um, and if so, tell me which one. Was it the Garboder? Was it the Regigigas? Or did you just get in both and you, you had no problem? Let me know down in the comment section below and I'll be picking up three winners for tomorrow's video. All right, I'm just going to take all the contents out from uh, both of these and then we'll review what's in each and every one of them. I mean, at this point, you guys already know, like, there's really no, you know, <laughs> any, nothing new to report because it's, it's been out. Um, I haven't really seen many Poketubers opening, opening this up at all, though, which is kind of makes me believe that sometimes maybe the Pokemon company doesn't print out enough or maybe... Um, the quantities aren't sent to every um, part of the world. I don't know. I like what what is going on? Like, why did I have such a hard time buying this Regigigas? I know the Pokemon Center had it, um, but I wasn't gonna order anything else at that point in time. So I I decided just to wait, you know, and that's basically what happened. So. Here are the two code cards. I will be keeping those for the code card winners. And um, yeah, that's going to be the end of that. We have two Forbidden Light and one Burning Shadows in each one of these, which is pretty amazing. I'm glad I'm not seeing any more evolutions. Thank goodness. Uh, let's take a look at the Garboder card here. It's going to be a pretty awesome looking artwork with the uh, foil, the galactic foil in the uh, back, which is pretty awesome. He's definitely full of garbage and uh, it looks like, I don't know, candy and pop rocks. Trash lands and acid spray. This is pretty much going to be exactly the same as the regular Garboder. And this one is a carbon copy of Guardians Rising. It's, it's just not a carbon copy. A alternate art from the Guardians Rising, but everything else is the same as far as the card is concerned. So that little A right there means it means it was previously printed in the previous set and it's got uh, different artwork, okay? Same thing with Regigigas right here. It's from Crimson Invasion and uh, this one has a beautiful, beautiful background. 
with the um, holo pattern looks pretty awesome looks like something's shooting out of his hands with crystals and all that stuff that's pretty awesome I can see why this is hard to find maybe people people are picking it up because they like the artwork I don't know the point is that we got both and that's all that matters let me go ahead and put my both of my cards here on sleeves because I have to put them in my protection for my binders and we'll spin them up right there. So the coins are pretty much exactly the same. We're gonna get two Xerneas coins, which is pretty awesome. I've never seen them in this color. So it's got that Lucario blue looking coin color, but it's a Xerneas coin, so not too bad. All right, so let's see what we're here to do. We're gonna do a little battle between Garboder and Rigigigas. Let's start with Marsh Shadow and Burning Shadows. Let's see what kind of good pulls we are not going to get. I don't know. Let's, let's be positive they're open TCGs, all right? Stop with the negativity, and we're gonna pull a Hyper Rare Charizard. No, we're not. A Crab Roller, Meowth, Stuffle, Pants H, Krogunk, Gloom, Acerola, okay, Wishful Baton, Dewpider, and that is a Reverse Hollow Common, and a Tangrowth, regular rare. So nothing to call home about in there. A ho -Oh Pack. Let's see what this pack is gonna bring us. Burning Shadows. You gotta bring at least one code card to the table. Do something. There we go. Burning Shadows code card for one of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate you guys, and I tell you this every single video. Thank you for joining, especially those of you who have been here for a long time, and those of you who have just actually subscribed to the channel. Thank you for doing so. All right, here we have some monkeys, Esper, Pikachu, and Noibat. Bufalant, Electric, Simisage, Weavile, Reverse Hollow, um, Rare. It's a pretty good card, actually. And then a Raccoonin, Regular Rare. So nothing on two Burning Shadows so far. Let's do Naganadal here as a uh, first pack for Garboder and see what kind of pulls we get. Now, um, it's very possible that we get nothing because Forbidden Light is very hit or miss. You know, it's it's... I don't know. This last couple sets, other than Ultra Prism, at least for me, have been pretty, um, very bad. Like, either, like I said, hit or miss. It's really not, you're not really expecting much to pull any, especially out of a couple packs. Scatterbug, On Edge, Go Goat, Floet, Magneton. Oh, nice, dude. A Diancy Prism Star card. Um, I don't know how much this is going for, but I always put the prices up here anyway. So a, a beautiful, beautiful pull right there. Not too bad at all. This is definitely destroying the standard format with the Boswell for sure. Um, I tried to play um, my Ultron across my deck and honestly all I see is Boswell decks. Boswell decks. Boswell decks. It's kind of annoying actually in a way, but eh, whatever. I guess that's the way that things work. Okay, so are we gonna get something awesome and cool out of this pack? I don't know. Here is some fire energy, of course, because we have to always say that. I don't know. I'm so used to doing it. Gibble, Cloture, Noibat, Pancham, Esper, Azelf, Brakeson, Crasher Wake. Please give me a Crasher Wake in full art. That would be awesome. A Gibble Hill Reverse Hollow Common and a Barbaracle. Regular rare. All right. Uh, I think that actually was in this side, wasn't it? Yes. All right. So we'll do um, the Zygarde pack now for the Garboder side. Hopefully we can get at least one white code card eventually. That'll be amazing if we did. Here we go. A code card for one of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, you guys are the best. Let me go ahead and put the metal energy aside there. And then three and two and... What do we got? Krogonk, Cluncher, Froki, Esper, On Edge, Halucha, Unit Energy, Breaks in again, Avalog Reverse Hollow, and that is actually a rare, and an Agonadal GX. That's what I'm talking about right there. Beautiful ball. Very, very nice. Nice, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Okay. Keeps me nice. I don't know why. This is weird. Anyway. <laughs> I'm just super excited. So at least one good pull out of Garboder. Hopefully the Grid Ninja will bring us a good pull for Reggie Gigas. Because that was such a hard... 
to find pack. At least give us one good pull, dude. Come on. There we go. Forbidden light for one of you guys. And girls. I don't know. I just feel like saying that. Anyway. <laughs> Here we go. Helioptile. Pancham. Bergmite. Scatterbug. Gooby. Spupa. Didede. Amora. Gudra Reverse Hollow Rare and a Florges. So sadly, the hardest to find Blister Pack, which was the Rigid Gigas, came only with three. Granted, yes, the Weavile is a good Reverse Hollow Rare, um, but that's all he gave us. Not cool, dude. But Garboder definitely kicked some butt here with a Diancy as well as a Naginatal GX card. Very nice. So anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you did not, give me a thumbs down and let me know how I can fix it and make it better. But please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell on the way out because it's very important for you all to support small YouTubers like us. And that's basically the only way you're going to be able to know what videos are made. And you don't want to be missing videos from this channel because there's a lot of videos, especially giveaways. So, all right, guys, take care of yourselves. If you're listening and watching the open TCGs, I will talk to you all in the next one.